In this video I'd like to show how to make um, changes to a picture by just using one adjustment which is the black and white adjustment and one blending mode which is the luminosity blending mode. Um, using these you can sort of make some quite dramatic changes or you can make some subtle changes. Um, I think it possibly works best on landscape but I uh, Later on I'll show you that you can use it on, say, portraits and other images. So all the images I'm going to use here are from pixabay.com and the links to these images will be in the description for the video. So we're going to start off with this landscape image here of Antwerp. So the first thing I want to do is to duplicate the background layer you can just press Ctrl and J as long as the layer is highlighted or Command and J on a Mac or just click on Duplicate. Now it is to this layer that we are going to add the black and white adjustment. Yeah, again you can do the adjustments from this tab here or from just clicking on this half black and white circle here and selecting black and white. Now as most people should know by now, there you can change the blending mode of a layer from up here, but you can also change the blending mode of an adjustment from this panel down here. So it says from here that I'm going to change the blending mode of this to luminosity. I mean, you could pick any blending mode, it will all have different effects, but it is just luminosity that I'm going to go for and as you can see it has returned the picture back to uh, the background settings that's because we haven't made any alterations yet so if you want to make a certain color darker or lighter you need to then move the sliders either left or right um, because it is the luminosity of this layer that we're changing, not anything else, not 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 the colours as such. Although it you know it will change the colours because it's changing their luminosity. So let's we'll have a look at the grass down here because we know that is green and possibly yellow. So if I move the green slider all the way to the left, it gets darker. All the way to the right, it gets lighter. So again, like the sky, we know the sky is blue or cyan. So you can affect just one color or colors within like the one slider. So I have written down some settings which I quite like for this particular image. So I'm going to go for minus 95, going towards the left. 94 is close enough. The yellow, I'm going to go to the right to 43. Some of these are very subtle changes. Well, maybe I should have gone to the left for 43. I keep forgetting that the starting point is at 100, so it doesn't get to minus. easier to type this in 43 um, doesn't get to minus until somewhere down here and up here will be above 100 so this one is minus 56 57 is close enough this one is going to be 43 and the blue is going to be minus let's do minus 16 and the bottom one I'm going to leave at 100 where it is and then I'm going to merge that into that layer so if I just turn this on and off you can see the difference between the background which was the original and how I've changed it just by using this adjustment so Hopefully you can see it's a, it's a much more sort of, I think, more dramatic 
image. I mean, the main alterations is obviously the grass, the sky. This clock face has changed quite a bit, as is this sort of red building here. So if I just turn it on and off again, you can see those differences. But that's also a much more dramatic change that you could make using these adjustments. So let's try for a much more subtle changes. And this is a street scene of Rome. So again, I will duplicate this layer, add the adjustment, change the adjustments, blending mode to luminosity, and now we're going to change these again to ones I've already sort of set up, which is like 64 in the red. 48 in the yellow, minus 47 in the green, and 51 in the cyan, 31 in the blue, and 174 in the magenta. Let me just move this over here for now. And I'll merge that down if I can get, now get rid of it. So now to compare the two images. So let me just turn this one on and off. Now these changes are a bit more subtler. Right, for example, like this wall down here, you know, there's not a lot of detail in that wall. And I've hopefully made the sky a bit darker. So if I turn this back on, as you can see, you've got, this wall has now got a bit more detail in it. The sky is slightly darker. Um, some people's clothes have changed slightly. It is only a subtle difference, but Hopefully it's one that you can appreciate um, what I have altered. So now moving on to a non-landscape picture. I'm going to try this image here. Now to our mind it's a fairly stunning picture and a very pretty girl. And it really doesn't need a lot of alteration which is why I'm going to use this one to see how different I can make it. Now this was obviously, because it's called makeup, was a, a picture to sort of help demonstrate the makeup. So I'm going to try and see what I can do to make this look different. So again, I'm going to duplicate the image, add the black and white adjustment, bring this back on screen. Change the blend mode to luminosity. And for this, I'm going to put in 64, 23 in the yellow. I'm going to leave the next two on 100. I don't think they had that much difference to the image, there wasn't that much green or cyan in the image. Um, the blue one is 262 and the magenta 165. So I will merge this in in a minute, but as I was saying, you could tinker around and try different settings to see a, get a, an, a version that you may like better. So let me merge that in and like before I will turn this on and off. If I remember rightly the main difference was the jumper down here, the skin is a bit lighter and brighter and the hat has changed colour or shade anyway. Um, and her makeup so sort of the glitter around her eyes become, has become much more noticeable. Now one 
or two changes I, I really didn't like from these settings that I did was the eye colors which have gone sort of white and the bright red of her lips has, has sort of gone which I think is a shame so what I'm going to do I'm going to zoom into that area so let's start with the eyes first of all and I'm going to get the eraser brush and I'm going to leave the opacity on 75 and the hardness I'm going to leave on quite low it's on 4% and then I just need a brush size that fits the area I want to bring back so we're just going to go over these eyes just to bring back the colour from the layer underneath and hopefully make it a bit look a bit more natural and let's increase the brush size on this and go over her lips just to bring back that nice red lipstick that she has on now I'm not going to be too f finessed here but I mean if you're going to do this on your images obviously you probably take a bit more time and care than I am so let's right I'll leave that there I'll zoom out and now I'm going to just turn the image on and off again so hopefully the eyes and the lips are now sort of pretty much staying the same in both pictures but the other areas have been altered by the adjustment and the luminosity setting so really that is the end of the tutorial it's just a, a little extra tool that you can use using an adjustment and blend mode just to sort of make certain colors or certain areas lighter or darker just by using that particular tool and adjustment and blend mode so thank you for watching and goodbye